What's up, you guys? We are here for another week of the And Now We Know show. I am your host, the greatest, Johnny K. And of course, I have so many guests for you. And I have another special guest. I always have special guests. You guys are not going to get tired of my special guests. Trust me. There's so many people that you guys have to get to know from this show. Go back and watch all the previous episodes. If you're just seeing me right now on this one, please go back and watch all of those. I got some great people on. And today we have a special guest. She's an actress, you guys. And she's from, she's not even from LA. She's traveled out here and she's doing her thing. So I definitely wanted to get her on the show. She's dope. She's uh, funny. She has a lot of things going on. She has a book. So we definitely wanted to have her on and we can't wait to get to know her today. Her name is Elena Dene. And you guys, let's go ahead and bring her out. <laughs> hey, how are you? Good. Great to get to know you today. Yes, yes. On it, okay. <laughs> 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 sitting with the beautiful, the talented Elena Dene. She is here with us on the And Now We Know show. So we have to ask her a bunch of questions and find out more about you. Um, what city are you originally from? I am originally from Colleen, Texas. Colleen, I'm Texas? Here. Yes. Very, very small town right outside of Austin. Colleen, Fort Hood. Interesting. Yeah. It's a military town. Um, moved to Houston straight out of high school. Been there my whole entire life up until now. I wow. just moved to LA. So recently? A year ago, so I'm still fresh. Wow. Yeah. Fresh these LA streets. Yeah, fresh. <laughs> I hope fresh. it's been treating you all right. Of course, I love it. It's a lot going on here, but Definitely. you know, it's a lot of good things and bad things. I mean, <laughs> yeah, all kind of things going on. When did you first find out that you were good and talented at acting? Um, I've always wanted to act since I was a kid, but growing up, my mother really like in for sports and academics. Sports? Yeah. So I was an athlete up until high school. When I left and went to college, I was like, I'm not doing it no more. I'm away from home. I'm not doing it. <laughs> what did and you that's play? when I started like uh, volleyball, track, cross country, and soccer. Oh. Yeah. Hence the body. Because she's definitely in shape, you guys. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so you did sports. It makes sense. Yeah. Just yeah. 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 But so your mom was against acting. And then you just... She wasn't against it. She just didn't like really support it, encourage it, you know, like, you know, it was just like, all right, I'm going to sign up this. Wow, so you had to run away to do your dream, basically. Well, <laughs> yeah, when I went to college, to right, yeah, when I went to college, I was just like, all right, I'm going to just do my thing, and that's when I started. Wow. Yeah. Well, you're not just an actress, you're also a writer. Yes. And you have a book out. I do. I and do. it's called The Five-Step Approach to Living in Your Gift. Yes. This is deep. Yes. It's not that long. No, it's so actually it's, a really wow. good read. That's good. Yeah, eight chapters. Especially in today's society, everybody's yeah. trying to get through things fast. So that's yes. like, this is cool. Is it digital too? It is digital. It's available on Audible, Amazon, and Kindle. So can you tell us a little bit of about course. what we can expect? Absolutely. So we're all born with a gift. And this book is just about how I went through these five processes to really live in my gift. I quit my job teaching. I was a public school teacher uh, for three years, and I was miserable, like, I would wake up. I remember right before I quit, um, right before COVID actually shut everything down, I would wake up and just cry, like be in my bed crying, drive to work crying, leave work, go self-medicate, just whatever to, like, <laughs> cope for the moment. And it was just this cycle that I was living in. It was day after day, day after day, self-medicating, this and that. And it was just like, and at the same time, I was acting. So I was like, I have one foot in my gift, one foot out. And so I was just like, well, I gotta have this. So I 
you know, pay my bills and do that, that which is, you know. Right. Yeah, so it is what it is, but I finally got fed up. I got so fed up, and I was just like, I'm just going to take all the money I have out of retirement, the little three years, and I'm moving to LA. And that's what I did. Wow. And that's when this book came to life. I was like, I have to write about it. I have to share it because I know so many other people are like, dealing with the same thing. Yeah, me yeah. too. I'm dealing yeah. with it. My right now. There are people close to me are dealing with the same thing. That's why I wanted to just like write this. Yeah, because yeah. people get scared to leave yeah. the job, especially when you come from like a good job. It's not like just Ralph's or something or the grocery right. store. Right. Like it's a good job. And yeah. so it's like, it's hard. Like, am I making the right choice? Should I stay? But right. if you're not happy, yeah, you should leave. Right. Now that I've moved out here, I took that leap of faith. It's like things are just coming to me. They really right. are. Like this, this position I right think now. When you I take just, that step. Yes, the, the universe, universe and God, 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 God the universe he makes it happen. He's yes. like, here, I'm proud of you. I think in a way, like I'm glad you took that step. Let me show you. Yeah, like, what happens? Guys, you're you know? reaping what you sow. Yeah, and that's what it's like. You gotta keep sowing those seeds and exactly. you dream into what you love, and that's what this book is. About. Wow, I want to read it. Yes, I read you it. got to. I'm gonna read you got it when to. I get home, for sure, for sure. And it's on audible, so if you don't want to sit and read, you oh. can listen to it on your way to work. Are you talking? You could. I'm talking. not reading it. I'm not okay. Reading it. <laughs> oh, but that's <laughs> cool though. <laughs> yeah. That's really I think cool. you're like the fifth person to ask like, are you reading it? Yeah, like, you should it. have. Yeah. I know okay. this website where you can do, you can be the reader yourself. <laughs> yeah, I know um, how to do it. I just you didn't want to. It's the whole equipment and everything. Maybe my next book. I'll narrate my next book. We since it's a we got studios you can use. Yeah, since it's a request, I'll do that. I'll yes, I mean it should be <laughs> talking about. It so. should. It should. But I found the perfect person to really. I feel like he will resonate with everyone, his voice. It's a guy. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a really, you'll be able to listen to it and you'll like it. Okay. okay. Good for you so far, so yes. Who's your top fave? Who's like your top five actors or actresses or actors? I would have to say, I love Samuel L. Jackson. For sure. Mm -hmm. uh, I love Gerald Butler, uh, Gabrielle Union, and... Oh, Samuel Jackson is my favorite too. Yeah, <laughs> um, Denzel, man. You can't Denzel. Go, yeah, I mean, Denzel. Gerald Butler, for sure. I love All Body Citizen. Wow. Um, Who inspired you um, when you were growing up as a kid? Is there any actors that you like watching on TV? What's crazy? Yes. Robert Townsend and Drew Barrymore. So random, but yes. Drew Barrymore. Yeah. I loved her too. Yeah, I, I loved her. her. I was like, wow, I like this girl. You know? Yeah. And Robert Townsend. I remember watching The Parenthood. That's when I fell in love with acting. I'm going to be an actress. Interesting. Is it hard finding relationships as an actress and doing what you do? Is it hard to maintain a relationship? Like relationships, like friendships or like love like relationships? Men, like love, love. relationships. <laughs> <sighs> I'd have to say, you know, I've been out here a year, and the dating pool out here is a lot different than it is in the South. Um, you know, you have all these men who are in the industry, they're doing something, and this is just from my personal experience. Most men out here in this industry are a little, you know, sus. <laughs> Like, ooh, I don't. Yes. I yes. have two encounters. I'm just like, ooh, I've had I don't two know. encounters too. Honestly, <laughs> you know, I just. <laughs> it makes yeah. it scary. Yeah. You just have to think about like, does this person like me, or is this person seeing I'm going somewhere and they're trying to hop on the train and catch a ride, or you they're know? using you as a beer? They don't even like women. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> they're just that. They're just gay. They have, they they have to just cover it up. Yeah. I started looking into the after these encounters. I was like, what is up in Hollywood? Uh -huh. I, just, I just never know. Just, so did you have, is like, has anybody ever like complained about your career? Like, like you're too um, driven or, you know, you're trying to like take the man role? Um, no, actually guys I meet, they like the fact that, you know, I have a lot going on. Like I'm ambitious and I do this, I do that. Um, some might be intimidated. Good. Yes, I've experienced that. Um, but I don't think it's like something to complain about. <clears throat> I do think that, you know, I've had a situation where I felt like someone was intimidated by it, but I, I, right. I can help you too. I can motivate you too. <laughs> right. We can do this together. Exactly. <laughs> but you know, 
So yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, have you ever had any beefs with anybody on set before? <sighs> like any kind of actress beefs, um, any kind of like, you know, tit for tat beefs that you could tell us about? Mm, I wouldn't call it beef, but I mean, I've been on, when I was doing theater, you know, you're doing rehearsal and you're uh, doing shows night after night. So we were around people who, for a pretty length of time. And I don't know, me and this one person just didn't see eye to eye sometimes. And they weren't they weren't physically in the play, but they were a part of the play. It was just like a... <laughs> but other than that, no, I'm pretty easygoing. You don't want to lose everyone, I think. That's what's up. I don't have beef. You may not like me, but I don't have beef with anyone. That's what's up. Yeah. <laughs> I know, like, there's just sometimes cattiness in the yeah. cattiness world, and there's jealousy because people want certain roles, and they might be jealous that you got a better role than they did. Yeah, that's on their heart, though. You know, you gotta, and you gotta be happy heart. with what you've got. Yeah, I mean, if they jealous and that's what they're attracting, then they gonna stay jealous because they're not gonna attract any roles into their life. So you just gotta learn how to be happy for people, learn how to clap for people, and you know, God will give that to you too. You gotta be happy for others. I mean, exactly. Yeah, yeah. it might not just be your time just yet. Exactly. Or God is doing something different for you, and exactly. there's no point in you know hating on another person or being jealous of somebody right. having the role you wanted so bad. Right, right. So I'm like, uh, on my behalf, I don't be, but if they have that in their heart, I'm a free spirited, happy person. No malice, no nothing. So it's just like, hey, if you don't like me, it's your energy. Right. It doesn't mix with my energy. And she has very good vibes, you guys. You guys are, check out after, you know, stay tuned towards the end because you definitely want to check out everything she has going on. Yes. She's very good vibes. She's a dope person. She's talented. She does everything. She's just phenomenal. Um, would you ever do modeling? Because you're yeah. a very beautiful girl. Oh, thank you so much. Of course I would do modeling. I've done a few. Um, I used to work at Twin Peaks. Tips? Do you get tipped a lot? Yeah. Wow. And then you could like build, you know, if you're likable, charismatic, charming, people will regularly come in and see you. Have you ever got like, like a thousand dollars? I've got a thousand, but I've got a good I was thinking a hundred, like a oh, hundred dollars here. Yes. Yeah, I got a hundred dollar tip. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, you better. Oh my gosh, that's what's up. Yeah, I love that job. Wow. Like, it helped me find like my poise, this confidence, this sexiness. Like that wow. job birthed me now. You know what wow. I mean? Like, yeah, I that's turned huge. into like, yeah, I started. Yeah, Twin Peaks, man. Twin Peaks. That's huge. I started at Twin Peaks. And I actually met someone who took my first headshots. Yeah, we didn't want to say, yeah. Him and his wife, they owned a photography studio and they just loved me. They were like, come to our studio. They didn't charge me. Took my very first headshots. Thank you, Chris. So wow. yes, I'll never forget that. So yeah. Wow. And literally Twin Peaks birthed me, man. Wow. wow. Oh, yeah, shout out to you guys again. <laughs> Open a location in LA if somebody from the team sees this, you know. Can you leave us with any advice or tips for people that are on this journey that want to be a writer or an actress? What can they expect from your feet? Absolutely. Whatever it is that you want to do, whether it's be a cinematographer, be a pilot, whatever. Be a student. Learn to be a student. Take your time. I mean, with this microwave generation, People expect everything to just happen overnight, but really be a student to the game, be a student to the craft, and study every day and live in it, do it, own it, be it. Yeah, I agree 100%. <laughs> I agree with that for real, you guys. Never stop learning. Yes, coming from a teacher. <laughs> X. Right. <laughs> well, her ex study. Still kind of in the realm. <laughs> teacher. Study. And yes. shout out to the kids that you taught. And. You're just inspiring oh my God. people. All the kids I've taught. <laughs> I love y'all. <laughs> Shout out to you guys. What can we expect from you in the future? In the future, you can expect my own production. Currently in the works of writing something, a script. Uh, Ooh. It's popping out of my own. You can expect that. Ooh. Another book for sure. And, you know, see me on TV. For sure, for yeah, sure. Yeah, I yes. can definitely see you on TV. For yes, sure. thank for you. Sure. <laughs> you, you are. You're on your way. Can you shout out your social media for people that do not know that want to stalk you today? Absolutely. <laughs> My social media is she so talented on Instagram at she so talented. Facebook Elena Dene. Elena Dene on Facebook. She so talented on Instagram. Underscore. She so talented. Underscore. Always be with the underscore. <laughs>
I'll put a link in the description box so you guys can see that. So this you'll just be able to click the link right there. And and now we know Elena today. You were yes. such a great guest for today. Thank you so and much. You guys check out everything she does. Stalk her, flood her DMs. Make sure you say Johnny K sent you. Uh, ask her any questions you have. Yeah. She's very a dope person. She's not like you know she's not gonna be mean to you. No. Just ask her anything you want. Leave some comments. Uh, let me know if you want more episodes like this. You want me to interview more actresses because you know, I just want to know if you guys like that. And also like this video, double, double, double like. And did I say subscribe? Subscribe. Y'all even subscribe. Like everybody that just passing through, I don't know what, what's up with you guys. Like just subscribe to my Hit channel. The subscribe button. Yeah, stop <laughs> just watching it. And you know, I know you gotta log in and all that, but. Do it, okay? Because I got good content for you guys and I got dope people every single week. So go and check us out. And that's Elena Danae, you guys. Go read her book. Bye. We'll see you next time.